Singapore is colourful, eclectic and multicultural. It's a shopper's paradise and a fabulous spot for some fun in the sun. There is a quieter side to this city though. Just 10 kilometres from the bustling city centre is the quaint neighbourhood of Katung and Ju Chia. A walk along the area's Peranakan heritage buildings is like a trip down memory lane to the Singapore of yesteryear. Singapore's Peranakan culture is a blend of cultures from the region, including Malay and Indian. It is showcased with brightly coloured buildings with ornate trimmings and facades, as well as spice-filled kitchens like Kim Chu. When it comes to traditional sticky rice dumplings, Raymond and his family have been producing the popular Peranakan delicacy for over three generations. Raymond, you can always tell how good summer is when locals flood to a business, and that's exactly what I've seen here today. Why are you so popular here in Katong? Uh, we have a long history since 1945, mm -hmm. when my grandmother and her maternal grandmother actually uh, started to make nonya cakes and nonya rice dumplings to actually supplement their family income, which is just after the World War II, in fact, back then. Yeah. These days, Raymond uses his homemade dumplings, teas and sweet layer cakes, along with the adjoining shop house to teach Peranakan ways to a new generation. You get me out of my head. Okay, and what we have here is a very pretty nonia. I love it. There's a lot of colourful Chinese embroideries and lots of European-style lace work on it, which is like marrying the best of both worlds onto a costume. That's exactly what it feels like. Yeah. The best of all worlds in Correct. one nonia's outfit. Mm. Thank you, Raymond. You're welcome. For those looking to immerse themselves further, the Katong Village Hotel offers a distinctly Peranakan experience. Thank you. One of the coolest things about staying in this hotel is you receive a village passport when you check in. Now this is full of eateries, shops and attractions designed to help you eat, play and explore like a local. Each of the 229 rooms feature authentic Peranakan decor and furniture. From the perfectly appointed hotel rooms through to the Katong kitchen, subtle influences from the many nations which help shape this unique culture can be found. Now I think it's time we paid a visit to the man that many consider the authority on all things Peranakan. And he lives right here. For 30 years, Alvin Yap and his sister Cheryl have been welcoming guests from around the world into their home, which they have turned into a living museum. Just come in, we share with them the Pranakan culture, we take them upstairs and we show them different elements of the Pranakan lifestyle from a very personal point of view. Internationally recognised for his work in the community, Alvin is determined that the Peranakan children of today will be better informed about their culture than he was. So when I was young, Charlie, I didn't know anything about Peranakan culture. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't learn about it in school, and so I was very intrigued by my own culture, which my parents didn't share with me themselves. So what did I do? I decided to collect antiques. And that's how it started 30 years ago. While he devotes much of his time to educating Singapore's new generation of Pranikans, Alvin also conducts personal tours of his home. Got to, got to get away. 